All right, we'll be right now. I'm outside the M oh, big daddy. Come on, Bert Chip. Come on, Bert Chip. What you got for us, baby? That boy said he bought the most expensive airplane ticket. Ooh, I'm ready for it, baby. Right now, I'm outside the Emirates first class lounge because I just bought the world's most expensive plane ticket. This is Emirates, and it is one of the most luxurious airlines in the world, home to a first class ticket that can cost up to $20,000. They have the craziest amenities, like an on-demand butler service, your own private cabin, and even a shower. Emirates, and it is one of the most luxurious airlines in the world, home to a first class ticket that can cost up to $20,000. They have the craziest amenities, like an on demand butler service, your own private cabin, and even a because I just bought the world's most expensive plane ticket. This is Emirates, and it is one of the most luxurious airlines in the world, home to a first class ticket that can cost up to $20,000. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Like an on demand butler service, your own private cabin, and even a shower on a plane. Luckily for me, I'll be getting to experience all of this. But unfortunately for my friend Proddy C, today he will be sitting at the back of the plane. Oh, here we go. Boys. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fucked up. You can't lead a homie in the back. That's come on, man. Come on, man. Proddy C here. We're just heading Belly to the Bell, what now. Your burnt chip. He's uh, up in first class. Absolute nightmare. How he's wangled that one. It's like I literally have my own bedroom on a plane. Got a TV that's bigger than my TV at home. Little mirror. Look at how much space I have for my legs. I could literally open a shop and start a family down there. You know, Proddy <laughs> is quite tall. So I wonder if he even has any space. Are well, we 77? Oh, you enjoying your seat? No. no. Got this little iPad right here. A bunch of these buttons. I don't know what most of these buttons do. A couple of snacks. I've got so many lamps. I've got a lamp here. One there. One there. They even give you a little notebook and a pen. I drew a dog. Ooh. And absolutely everything on this plane is just note. automatic. Like if I want to put a window up, I've got to press this button. Oh yes, this seat is actually crazy. That's it's the kind of royalty I need in my life. Oh, I really want to see how Prod was doing. I'll just show you what they've given us. Wood grain. Oh, we just had the announcement from the bloke, and apparently we only have to endure this hell for six hours and fifteen minutes. So, yeah. I can actually watch my plane take hours? off from above. That chip doesn't give a shit about this though. He's tucking into a steak and a glass of champagne. Here we go. We're moving. Wow, that's a madness. Yeah. The uh, videography on this flight is unbelievable. That was a very good takeoff. Smoother than a baby's bottle. Look at that. It's all a mag. I actually can't believe I'm here. I feel like I don't belong here. I definitely don't belong here. Right, so they just came You deserve it, King. And they've given us a little Polaroid. This little car. Still like developing at the moment. Look at that. Hey. Oh, that's so cool. That's going on the ground, I think. Really nice. 99. What the hell? Okay, guess even better. I just found the coolest thing. Check this out. Oh, yes. Look at it. It comes up like it's in a little oh. elevator. Pepsi, oh. don't mind if I do? What if I want two? See, that's wild, because what if I want two Pepsis? There was only one. Like, what if, what if I don't want any of the other sparkling water, you know? I don't know. One of the perks, you get free alcoholic drinks. You can properly enjoy yourself. Cheers to you, Chip. Okay, so the Come hostess on. said she's bringing me, like, a bag. I don't know what. I don't know what's in it. I could, I could live here. Oh, yes, we could have you here for those. Are you sure you, you don't want to go? Guys, a female <laughs> said my name. Okay, so the lady has given me a couple of things. She's giving me this bag full of goodies. What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. I want to say shower gel. I think this is to wipe your bum with, but it hasn't touched anyone's bum yet, so... You normally don't get headphones this good on a plane. Yeah, hello. Coming in for landing. I've also been given these really good really like the really AirPods, the Air Maxes or whatever. Hello? What the fuck are they called? It's better than the pillow I have at home. I don't know if you guys can feel the comfort. Oh my god, screen, he's got to get his just, house together. That's good. I'm pretty certain they must have given Prodwood a pillow. It's quite a long flight. All right, so we're going to take a look at the in flight entertainment on the plane. Let's look at this. Oh, we've got podcasts and audio here. See if the oh, fellas wow. are there, actually. It won't be. It's only on Spotify. That's where you can exclusively watch it. Another thing I didn't even realize the screen is touchscreen. Like, I literally have all these different movies to choose from. I tell you what, this guy, I love this sort of thing. Shark movies. Anything with a shark in, man, I'm there. Ooh, Monopoly. That was a bad joke. Seeds. We actually can't play them. Press play. We just love us. We've been trying this for 10 whole minutes. 
So they just bought me this coffee thing. I don't even think I like this, but I paid $15,000 for this seat, so I'm gonna drink it. I'm, I'm not rich enough for that. Okay, so the lady just came and gave me the crazy thing. I don't know if I want an espresso on a during a six hour flight. I feel like I would just want to die. Just immediately. look at how many options there are on the menu. Mushroom Ooh. omelet. I don't even like mushrooms. Caviar? Uh. It would be so rude not to. You can literally get a steak on the plane. I might be in heaven. So, in flight meals are allowed to come around and they look all right. They probably aren't as good as what Chip's having right now. Okay, so I'm gonna order some food. Apparently I can order any time I want, but first I have to get the waiter over by pressing this button. First? Here we go. Well, let me take a selfie. Lovely, thank you very much. Right, so food has arrived. Um, we've got a beef stew. Okay. I don't know, it looks like a cheesecake sort of thing. A lentil salad, red crackers, cheese, butter, water. Lentil salad? If he's got anything on chip steak, you know. You even get metal cutlery. That's better than what I've got at home. It's high to again. Bro, why are their houses ass? Niggas gotta start living better, bro. What? No way the plain silverware is better than the crib. My. Thank you very much. It's a baby fork. It's a baby's fork. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I do love champagne. I don't know like a champagne enjoy it, but I am. Oh, I plan to be stumbling off this plane. You give it a rating. <laughs> I'm, I'm, usually, I'm usually a fan of Heineken, but only really from the tap. I think it's got a decent coloring on it. It's managed to keep a very low. Jesus Christ. Oh, hold the phone. I just heard there's a mystery. And the mystery is, why do you not own any crafted jewelry? Now, according to my research, crafted jewelry is sweat proof, heat proof, waterproof, and you won't get that pesky green neck anymore. And you know what makes things even better? It's crafted to last. Just like my trusty old type. It's older than me. And with crafted, you get a lifetime guarantee. So if anything happens to your crafted pieces, they'll replace for free. Ooh. I wish my wife had a lifetime guarantee. And this truly is the biggest online jewelry brand. And you need to join the 1.5 million crafted members all around the globe. And it is time for us to part ways. But I wouldn't part ways without giving you an amazing discount. If you use code CHIP, you get 25% off all your crafted pieces. So code head over chip. to the link in the description. 25% off? Just like me. I don't know what this link is. Link in the it's description. Like a thing and a little glass of salad with this baby fork. Okay, here we go. I don't know what it is, but it's not bad. Right, so it's now time for the official taste test. Okay. You know what? Is it here? It's actually really nice. Boss I'm not a salad man, I'll be honest. It's really you know, get me some instant noodles. That That's me. That's why. You don't put it on the It's She didn't like the instant noodles. Got like a lemon or an orange. Well, uh, looks like cheese. Pancakes. Imre some Imre other Imre stuff. Imre. This experience has made me realize I'm an uncultured swine. Guys, I'm literally about to eat fish eggs. Apparently this is like a rich person meal. It doesn't look that appealing. Look, but I'll give it a go. You ain't got no chips? Oh, uh, put the bread. Get the bread, bro. Tastes quite salty. But it's not bad. It's not bad. She said try it with the bread. Oh my little baby spoon. That's looking okay. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a go. It's not bad. Starter success. And guys, there is still so much more to come. Oh wow. Thank you. Look, guys, if you didn't already oh, know, my favorite rock. thing in the world is steak, and now I'm eating it on a plate. What Holy the fuck shit. is that? There it is. Bang. Yeah, video Bang. Video. Bang. Okay, taste test. This is better than the food I eat at home. The steak looks so good. I wonder if Todd would got a steak. Right, it's time for another meal. I have a feeling there yeah, the chips might be a bit better here. I think we beat him on the last meal. However, it doesn't scream a shortage bakery, does it? I've got some fruit, big fan of fruit. Shout out to the pears. Lemon drizzle cake. One of the goats, you know. The dessert just arrived. Shout out to the pears. Amazing. Okay, let's give it a go. I don't think I like this one, but it's chocolate, so I will have more. Dear Diary, today I entered heaven, and I'm not a religious man, but I must say, amen. Guys, I've just come in the shower. I'm about to have a shower on a plane. I can't really wrap my head around that. I've got this whole area to do activities. So much space. There's me, and this is the shower. Now, she said to me I only get five minutes to shower, which is fair enough. I'm showering on a plane. Right, so we're just coming to the toilet to check out what the facilities in here are saying, and... 
they're probably not as good as Chip's first class one because I know that first class toilet is amazing on the Emirates Airlines. So here's what we've got. Not too much space to work with. But yeah, Chip, yeah. let's have a look at what you're saying because I think... Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm on it. This man is oh, English. This is lovely. I'm just going to complain about the water pressure that I realized I'm, I'm on a plane. I'm all on. This is truly a, a surreal experience. Get up. I'm at Hogwarts. Except I'm not. Right there, it literally tells you your time left. I wonder if Crawford will be having a shower. But I've just realized that the floor is exactly. in the bathroom. It's heated. You even got oh. This might be the first time in history I've smelled good. They even cleaned up my seat for me. Ah, oh, yeah. I could get used to this life, really. It's actually not all doom and gloom, though. One thing I do love about this is the service. Free alcohol, free food. The service is amazing. They're literally for six hours. Staff, That's fire. Staff, bring you food. Amazing. Thank you, you're the man. Enjoy. Cheers. So the bottle you're of champagne you bought me, if you were to buy that bottle in London in the club, it would cost like 500 pounds. All right, so one thing I just noticed, skylights like a Rolls Royce. Bet you didn't have that chip. All right, we're gonna go and quickly check out the bar. There's a bar on the plane. Look at the stars in the booth, by the way. Whoa, Hello, yeah, we nice. got a little bar going on up in the busy. I've gone for a mojito, so be fruity, but I'm there. I look shattered. A little mojito. Alcoholic drink. How's the bar treating you? Do you feel tired? You're like a pig and you want. I haven't slept yet, sorry, I'm going delirious. Just can't get no sleep. It was the case I saw, wasn't it? No. So one thing I don't like about this is I actually can't get my knees underneath the tray table. I'm a big lad. I'm six foot two. 18 stone, I'm heavy. Guys, I'm actually so tired right now, I don't even know what to do. But the lady gave me this package and it contains a full set of pajamas and I'm gonna go put these on because I've been awake for about 24 hours now. I am praying that they are comfy. Holy smokes. So I'm gonna call the waiter and ask if they can help me with my bed. There we go. Hi, can I get someone to help me make this bed, please? Like, look at myself as well. I can literally still watch a movie in bed, which in my opinion, pretty freaking good. It's time for me to get, I don't know, like at least four hours sleep. I'm just woken up. I feel like crap. I've had like four hours sleep. It's probably gonna have to do. Oh, considering that was on a plane though, that was amazing. Okay, so this is my final meal of the flight. I've gone for like a little Vietnamese curry thing. It looks pretty. Pretty good if you ask me. I'm gonna, Come on. gonna demolish this. Taste test. We good, we good. I've also been delivered to us Frappuccini. An omelette. And it's come with a sausage. Now look at the state of this. That reminds me of something. Look at the state of that. Just got myself a spot of tea. What did that remind you of? No, I've done that wrong. I've got to wait. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to make tea. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> See you later. Crod word. Mate. How was it, my friend? I was fucking awful. Don't let it be that bad, King.